here's some feedback on the categorization activity that you just did. So under the elements column, you should have copper, carbon, silver, oxygen, gold, iron, helium. These are all found on the periodic table, and that is the simplest that you can break them down. Under the compounds column, you should see alcohol, Epsom salt, carbon dioxide, propane salt, baking soda, and sugar. So you'll also notice that each of these gave you a formula, a chemical formula, which is two or more elements that are chemically combined that makes the compound. Um, and note that element and compound are both my pure substances. Carbon dioxide, you were not given the formula, but in the name, carbon is one element, and then oxide, that's like oxygen, and so that's indicating two elements that are together. Um, if you look under solutions, which is one of our types of mixtures, there's air, apple juice, brass, which is a metal alloy, dish soap, soda, and hot tea. These are all homogeneous because they are transparent and they have been dissolved with one another. Um, in heterogeneous, which is a mixture, um, you have raisin bran, salad dressing, muddy water, granola, mixed marbles, pizza, mixed vegetables, concrete, hot chocolate, which is tricky, and gravel. Hot chocolate, because if you tried to shine a beam of light through the hot chocolate, because there's milk in there, um, it would break up that beam of light, and that's called the Tyndall effect. So that makes it a colloid, which puts it under the heterogeneous column.